The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Hi. Um, what? Why is it so difficult for managers, or, or how is it so difficult for managers in November, December, January? Those and, and does that, those winter months do they really define the season? Getting through that period. Yeah, all, all the managers we, before the game said, "Oh, that game is so important. If we win that game, we're going to make a second step." And after three days later, and then come another one. So oh, now that is the most important game. So in January, we will think of the, the next one in February, Mars, and. So, of course, we are good. We have done really good, but it's the same that before. It's still, still a lot of things to come and a lot of things to play. It's better being in that position because win helps to win more. Our confidence is good now, and uh, but always I am excited to to prove myself, to prove ourselves. For example, tomorrow against one of the best, Arsenal, and uh, and and try to make the, create them problems to enjoy to create them problems to 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 make what we want to do to to win the game and and of course we, we know our outsider united is playing against chelsea so it's another game to, to take more advantage of one of them or both of them so that's why we have to be focused in important game for us and leave maybe leave arsenal 12 points behind and it's uh, it's it's a massive game for us for many many circumstances uh, starting for the way we have to play, try to win the game. Pep, you, you, your favourites to win on Sunday, but you were favourites in the FA Cup semi-final um, and, and you didn't win. Did you analyse that game afterwards and, 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 and has it, will it help at all? Do you, had, did you learn anything about your team or Arsenal that will help for tomorrow? Well, I think the last FA Cup we were not favourites. The people didn't talk about that like today. Of course, that's happening. It depends on the, of the moment of the team. And uh, we were favourites last season the f in that period, in the first 10 games. After that, we, did, we forgot to, to see that. The game was quite similar. The details make the difference. Uh, and, um, and that's happened. And today, of course, uh, we can analyse a little bit because they play 5 for one the way they are, Arsene, they are, going to, they are playing right now. Uh, but it's completely different. It's a long time ago it happened that football is every day is a new one. So. I, I, I'm not. I didn't. I'm not concerned about what happened that game. Hi, Pep. Um, <clears throat> when Arsene Wenger first came to England 21, 22 years ago, he was viewed the same as you're being viewed now as somebody who lifted the Premier League to another level. Um, when people look at potential Premier League champions, they look at the younger guys, yourself, Mourinho, Klopp, etc. Do you still see Arsene Wenger as a rival and Arsenal as as a rival? Of course. And why? In, in, we are in November, so everybody is uh, one day fake up last season. So and uh, of course, uh, it's not about uh, what at the moment the prestigious of the club, the 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 Emirates Stadium. So of course they are they are. Uh, we will see Mers in April, but now it's, it's a contender, it's outsider. So uh, it's nine points. Difference in, in that period is nothing. It's nothing, believe me. Because the people consider it, we are going to play in that way for all the rest of the season. Then when that's happened, I can tell you, okay, we are a big chance to be champions, but nobody can assure you that. So we are thinking in, in the future is going to happen the same as happened the last, last two months. Who can assure that? Nobody knows. Even the manager was every day with the players, and even the players. It's tomorrow what you have to do to say, okay, this one champion here is Chelsea. Chelsea is the champion. They defend the title. And if you want to get it, we have to fight. And in November, in December, January, February, March, April, May. So that is the only, the only thing we can do. But, but just as an add to that, Arsenal have not won the Premier League for 13 years now. Do, do you think they deserve credit for staying with their manager and not making a, a decision? It, to yeah, Leicester, how many years it was without winning a uh, Premier League? I don't know, before, it was the first time Leicester won. So never before I won the Premier League. So, 
football and sport is fascinating. So it's uh, every day you have to prove yourself if uh, if you can do it again, if you had him before. And when you don't win, it's a proof again if you can win again. So that is that's why it's, it's good. You cannot live about what you have done in sport. Is yesterday we were happier. The night after the Napoli, we were happier. Our dinner was better in Napoli because we enjoyed that moment. The day after, the training session is better. Everything is better. But the second day, so Napoli is gone. So now is Arsenal. What they do? What we can control? When they are make high pressing, how we solve that? Uh, when they have the ball to avoid to 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 as much as possible to Alexis Ozil receive the ball. How we have to do when Ramsey arrive in the box? The movements on Lacazette, and we have to. Think about that. That is a game. It is a game, and that's why you have to analyze what you have to do. Pep, Kevin De Bruyne this week said that he's enjoying playing football under you so much that he wants to commit to the club for a long term. How much uh, pleasure does it give you to hear players say how much they enjoy playing for you? The most. The most. That is the reason why we're managers. The most. So I am every day. I don't change. To win a title when they are unhappy in the way they play or the way, I don't know, 11 months. So every month, the satisfaction is to be they are happy when we are going to try to play and they want to play and they win the games. It's, that's the reason why. That is the most. I mean, I'm proud of the most and hopefully we can help them to be happier for a long time. Okay, last couple guys, please. Pep, um, <clears throat> it's been more than 18 years now since Manchester United won the treble in 1999. No other English team has managed to do that or even win the league and Champions League in the same year. Um, many people have said it's impossible to do that now because of the intensity of the Premier League more than any other element of that. Do you think it is possible to, for another English team to win the treble? And do you think your players could be capable of that? Win the treble is an exceptional situation. So Barcelona did it twice, United, and, and I don't know, maybe a long time ago, Celtic Glasgow. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Inter de Milan, sorry, with Jose, that's true. With uh, Inter de Milan, with uh, Mourinho, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, I think it's an exceptional uh, situation. I think for the English football, with my feeling, maybe all five teams will go to the, the last 16th. I think that is the first real good step. So United is there, we will be there. Tottenham is there, or will be there immediately. Liverpool will be there. And Chelsea, OK, the last two results was not good, but I think will be there. I think all of five, huh? yeah. I said all five. Uh, that's good. I think that is the best news uh, in comparing for the last previous years for the English football. And that we'll see. We'll see what happen. With as much possible, there are five teams there. More chance to win the Champions League or doubles or maybe triples. But I think win the triples is a... An exceptional situation because today, like it was before, eh? not because in our period in Barcelona, or Jose or uh, Celtic Glasgow or the Bayern Munich. Sorry, Bayern Munich was another one. Bayern Munich. So that team with you Hankers. So is a uh, Bayern Munich top team in Europe is one triple in all history. Even Beckenbauer period, Uli Hoeneß, Rummenigge. So it's it's an exceptional. So I think it's a big mistake to make think. Oh, we are going to win the triple win Arsenal and after that we will see because of because of the intensity though of the Premier League no I don't believe in that no 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 I believe in the in the truth when you play better you <laughs> you win the games not for intensity Pep I don't know whether you remember that uh, soon after you arrived at the club we were speaking to you about the influence Fernandinho has on this team and you told us that if you had a squad of players with the mentality of Fernandinho, you would win the league. How close are you to having a squad of Fernandinho's now? And can you tell us about? I think Fernandinho right now is one of the best, but best, best, best three holding midfielders in the world. So what we have done is same with John and Nico. Uh, Fernandinho's uh, achieved another level. His positivity and uh, you think his mentality. So he gives us a lot with ball, without the ball. In terms of many things we need to, to, to compete, he can play in three. Last season, we cannot forget Fernandinho playing the fullback many, many times. And no complaints. And he tried, and then asked, oh, what he has done can improve. 
when that's happened, we have a lot of prayers in one squad in that mentality, you can dream to win games. You obviously um, give him the praise that he's due, but do you think the rest of the football community give him that praise, the fans give him that praise as well? Well, I don't know. I don't know what the fans think about that, so I don't know. Uh, I know the fans like the guys who score goals, or, uh, you know, all the people score goals, but all the managers, we know the import, you know, the value of this kind of player. Maybe the media don't talk too much about, about them or how important they are. And what I like the most, this kind of player, normally they don't care too much. So they are happy when they are happy in the in the group in the locker room and Fernandinho, like for example David or these kind of players that they enjoy a lot in in, in these situations. So. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you.